we've been using essential oils, we have um, found that they're really great to make your own natural cleaning products. One of the uh, most powerful essential oils is one called, well by Young Living, Thieves, and by doTERRA it was On Guard. On Guard. But you can also make your own, and we'll tell you how to do that in a minute, but Thieves um, is antiseptic, antibacterial, antimicrobial, and um, it has a really cool little history if you ever look it up. It talks about how it goes back to the Middle Ages and there are actually some thieves who um, had this special blend of oil and it saved um, many merchants' lives because I think they had the money to be able to, to buy it. But it is a very um, spicy and rich aroma. So what are some things that we can, we can do with, with thieves? Well, we want to replace our household cleaners our countertop sprays that make you think about it. If you're preparing food on your, you're getting those toxins probably on your hands and your food, um, putting those in your body. Pretty much what you use with your hands is going to end up in your body. We absorb so well all these chemicals and you want to use the right chemicals which are the ones that are healthy for you, not cancerous and harmful like so many of the, what, what does it have in it? Ammonia, uh-huh, and it's all about the triclosins and um, even the um, natural the, um, stuff that you buy. Harmful chemicals. The harmful chemicals. Yeah, and so you, we don't, we want to stay away from that. So we like to use Thieves or, or On Guard blend um, for a all-purpose spray. It's so versatile, you can use it. Oh, yeah. Like, you can um, internally take it and use it to calm your... Um, many ailments, your sore throat, your stomach pains. You can even put a drop in some hot water and it, and it tastes like tea because it has um, so many different spices in it. It can it helps your digestive system so it kind of detoxes you a little bit. But what Thieves has in it is cloves, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And so to make your own blend, you would just use 40 drops of clove, 35 drops of lemon, 20 drops of cinnamon, 15 of the eucalyptus and 10 of the rosemary. And you just put it in a small bottle. Or if you're making a cleaning spray, this is a 16 ounce bottle. You use, um, it depends on how strong you want it. You use one drop per ounce or one drop per half an ounce. And then you just um, fill it up with distilled water. So you have your drops of thieves in the water. And then you just spray it on your countertops and it makes everything clean, smell good, antibacterial in a natural way. Antiseptic, yes. Um, it is. You can also take this and put it on a cotton ball and um, put it in areas that you want to deodorize or like near your cat's bed. Now one thing I did read that the cats cannot have this for some reason. So do not use this around your cats, but if you have dogs you can put you know, a little bit in their beds um, and it will make it smell better. I'll never be helped this kind of oil you know? Yes, and I use doTERRA's On Guard hand sanitizing spray, um, which is the same uh, list of ingredients. The thing about essential oils that is so cool, um, and I was just talking about this with my sister Nan, um, if, if to take cinnamon and eat it and um, you know any of these ingredients, clove, lemon, um, it has a different effect on your body, it's still very good for you. But with essential oils, it's so potent. Lemon essential oil for a 15 milliliter bottle, has, that's equivalent to 45 lemons. Wow. So you just need a little drop, a lot. Um, it goes a long way, so you just need a little drop. Just one drop. We want to show you this trick. Um, this is something my mom has done for years to clean. It works like Mr. Um, what is the magic cleaner eraser? Oh yeah, the magic eraser. Magic erasers. Um, except you can have a lot more of it in your house and it's a lot cheaper. So um, Kate was trying to make some matcha tea as you saw earlier, the, the, the pot overboiled. So we had to let it cool and now you know I'm left with this mess. I have found this to work really well, and this is what I, I've been using for a lot of my cleaning. I buy this big jug of vinegar, which is 248, and this big box of um, baking soda, it's um, four pounds, and it is um, $1.98.
So as you can see, this is a very cheap way to clean. And all I do is sprinkle all over the areas that I got um, the burnt milk is a little bit of baking soda. Then I take my vinegar and pour it over the baking soda. And y'all probably did this is experiment. It's cool, but um, it fizzes up just like this. And then I have my scraper, which came with my stove, and I just kind of mix it around a little bit. Make sure it's all the baking soda is covered by the vinegar. And you can just let this sit for a minute and let uh, it let it activate. But you can already see it's starting to work a little bit. <laughs> you just scrape it off. And you can just see it. The dark pieces are just coming right up. And I have tried soap and water and everything else. And it just does not work like this. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. 